any business questions, visits the UK's top business networking events to find the best people to share ideas about business with. It's a chance to see the value of networking, discussing ideas, learning tips and having a bit of fun too. Don't forget to join us at the community afterwards to find out the next filming date and to discuss ideas in the show. But let's get to this first question, which was raised by David in Chelmsford, who runs a building supplies firm. Now, he says he gets approached all the time by charities, and he would love to give all to them. He'd love to give all the money to them. Um, but he's got to think about his business, too, and what he can get from it as well. So he wants to ask the panel, how do you think charity and business works best together? And how do you pick who you help or who you give to? Um, let's start with you, Martin, yeah. because obviously you're so involved involved with charity here. yes so why why did you pick this particular charity and how does it relate to your business yes I think people need to pick a charity uh, the charity that is in your heart really either you have uh, and, uh, a member of your family ill or you think that uh, resolving problems in poverty or health in my case is taking people out of the circle of poverty any person who uh, is born in poverty will be Poor, poor, uh, poor the, the next, next generation and through organizing these meetings and giving all the money to this charity we will help more people not only one child but the whole of the community to come out of poverty. I mean one of the things obviously we're, we're all in business yeah. we're working tremendous hours a day we don't have a lot of time mm. and yet we all want to help charities so is there a good way that we can get that partnership between business and charities? Yeah, Mark Marketing. Through helping a charity, which is in your heart, yeah. you will get more marketing through your business. So you help people and you get also the revenue of putting your name at the front of the marketing. Mm. I mean, you're obviously very much involved in the sort of the wellness health area and there's yeah. a lot of charity involvement, a lot of charities helping people out in that. What's your relationship with charity in that sense? Um, my relationship is, uh, very similar to Martha there, is to definitely choose something that means a lot to you, uh, whether it be personal reason or something you want to leave a legacy for, or something like that. Um, but I am very much... Um, filtered in I don't just want to give money to a charity. Yeah. That's right. I yeah. want to know where it goes. And more importantly, is there something I can input mm. aside from just the money? Yes. Because yes, then right. you know exactly what's going on in the charity, mm. how all the money's working mm. and what the results are. Mm. Because unfortunately, there is a lot of news nowadays about money going astray in mm. bigger mm. charities. That's right, yeah. Um, so that's why I'm quite strict with one or two that I know exactly what's going on. Yeah. There, was, there was a very interesting article, and I'm trying to remember the lady's name. She's a, a property developer from Ireland, and she was saying the other day that when you pick a charity for business, uh, you want, as you just said, you want to be able to feel that you can actually put something into it. Yeah. Because you could just give money, mm. but is that actually going to make a difference? And if you're bringing professional skills, particularly into a charity that's run by a group of very well-meaning volunteers, mm. but maybe don't have quite that structure in place to yeah. really benefit from it, then that's something we can all bring yeah. in, isn't and, it? Yeah, and, and something that we really need to take into account is that Helping a small charities is what's the difference? It's exactly what you were saying, Neville. Big, big, big charities. We really don't know if it's going to a salary or whatever it go, is going. When it's a small, tiny charity like I am running in Peru, you know that the money goes directly there because all of us are volunteers. So you really, you're looking at an idea charity will be when it's run by volunteers or maybe one salary the person who really need to run the charity. In our case, everybody is a volunteer. So or the money goes directly to the families and you can even meet the child that you are sponsoring. Yeah. It is amazing. You can go all the way to Peru. But I, I mean, I don't think that um, money is the only thing that you can give to a charity. Mm -hmm. You can give your time um, right. to the Volunteer. charity as well. Um, and also you find out um, what you've gone through as your past experience when you were a child. Yeah. Um, maybe you volunteer at schools mm -hmm. whereby you, you're helping
helping children who are coming out of school what they need to do, learn life skills mm. in order for them to have um, better jobs. Well, and you're so doing mentoring, aren't you? Yes, I do mentoring yeah. um, at um, a state school yeah. where you've got the, um, what I would say, some of the underachieving children where I volunteer my time in order to uh, make sure that they learn certain life skills uh, when they leave school. So yeah. it's not necessarily money. Um, and working with children, I may not get anything back for my business because I'm not talking to them about wellness, but I look at it in a different way and say, well, wellness is helping them to become better citizens of life when they leave school. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and if I can plant one seed in a child that will then help other children, then I think that's yeah. something. So, that so let's sum done. up for David here. Well, how should he approach it? He's got all these charities coming to him. What, what do we think that he should do? First of all, look for a charity that is more appealed to him. So first of all, life. pick a charity that appeals yes, to you. Yeah. Pick one that you can get involved in. That's yeah. right. Don't necessarily look at it as an immediate return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you will get back from other avenues. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've definitely found that if you give for the charity the time and the effort because you want to, yeah. things happen mm -hmm. in return. As a result yeah. of it. Yes. The contacts yeah. you make yeah. and that yeah. sort of thing. Things like contacts, yeah. so it can come from other avenues as well. Yeah. So. It's an interesting topic, isn't it? If you're just joining us right now on iTunes, then uh, welcome. The sound you can hear in the background is the Latin Parties UK Fund Business Networking event. It's a catchy little name, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's really a little bit shorter, but anyway. Uh, we're travelling around to different events around the country, and if you'd like to pose a question to a future panel, or be a guest yourself, or invite us to film at your event, whether it's a paid event or a free event, then just go to our community, go to Google Plus and type in any business questions, uh, and or you should find a link on Shout Pal's website as well, or around this video that you're looking at right now. Over the past few minutes, you've been part of Any Business Questions. Now carry on the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag, or one word, Any Business Questions. Or join us on the community. Just go to Google Plus and type in Any Business Questions. If you'd like us to come to your event too, have a look at the Business TV section on the ShoutPal website. That's shoutpal.com, the Business TV section. We all hope to see you at the next event.